iMeme is another app that you may have to replace. As you all know, MySpace shut the app down because they bought it and they're working on integrating it into their own service, quote unquote. But we don't know when that's going to be. So in the meantime, uh, you basically have to say, forget about them and find someone else. You can go with Pandora, which is another great uh, option. But for now, we're going to take a look at Slacker Radio. Uh, as some of you who are participating in our contest already know, Slacker Radio has a, a great uh, audio streaming system. It creates custom stations based on artists that you like. So I'm using this one right now. I do listen to Pandora a lot as well. But I'm listening to Slacker right now because it has an, an artist that no one else has, which is Mayor Hawthorne. And it's done a pretty good job of predicting artists who are similar to him. Uh, it also gave me options of who to select, so it's basically like soul artists, things of that nature, uh, a lot of the modern R&B. If you like a song, you can love it, or you can ban it, which is a little stop button right here. It'll never play that song again. And if you click this upgrade button, it'll take out the ads, and I believe it adds additional skips. As you can see right here, the number five, I'm only allowed to skip five times because I've selected, I've used up one skip already. You can only skip songs six times within one hour. So if you might want to consider getting a pro account if you do use this app. I'm performing another skip, I don't really want to listen. And here's the artist in question, Mayor Hawthorne. Really good uh, soul singer out of Detroit. If you haven't been listening, I advise you to. It's really good. Music break over. Here we have Ninja versus Ghost. I think the title says it all. Obviously, it's a game that you're going to play on your Android phone. And the point of it is basically to shoot ghosts and don't get hit. You're playing a ninja and you move with, you use the accelerometer to move right and left up and down the screen. You can also use the trackball, but it's much faster to use the accelerometer. And when you press the trackball, you shoot. So. Oh, and you gotta move quick, so was while I'm explaining stuff to you guys, I ended up losing a life. So basically, when you shoot them, they replicate into more. I'm gonna try to get this. This is on medium mode. There is an easy and a hard if you purchase the the paid version. This is the light version, but it's still pretty good. As the levels increase, it's going to get more difficult, it's going to get faster. Hmm. Uh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, shit. Uh, excuse me. Okay, I lost. Alright, I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to leave until I beat this level, and I'm not going to subject you guys to sit here and watch this all day, so I'm going to edit this part out, because I suck. And I'm going to need all the time I can get. Okay, and we're back. I'm not going to tell you guys how long it took me to beat that level. As far as I'm concerned, you didn't see anything. Uh, I did it with ease, so let's keep that between us. This is Ninja vs. Ghost. It participated in the ADC2. I believe it was the finalist. You can have... A, this is the light version. There's also a paid version in the market. And with that paid version, you're allowed to put the game on hard. Which is gonna, if you master this one and you want more speed, more difficulty, you'll definitely wanna get the paid version. There's also a death match uh, where it's, it's, you participate in the games in a similar mode. There's also internet rankings, so you submit your scores and how you're performing so you can compare yourself to others. And the last of the replacements, we have Fandango, which is gunning for Flickster. Uh, they're both obviously movie apps. Uh, when I worked at a movie theater, Fandango's commercials were on all the time. And uh, people used to always use them for tickets and pre-ordering. And I hated the, that thing so much. Because they were so annoying with those damn puppets. But their app isn't annoying at all. It's kind of bare bones and it's kind of quick. 
If you're looking for all the features that you get in Flickster, like critic reviews, uh, user reviews, and ratings and all that stuff, you're not going to find it. But if you just want to know what's playing this week, you can see what the top shows are. You can see what's opening. This is going to be a good app for you. Like, let's say you wanted to see Avatar in IMAX. You click it, and it tells you all the show times. Uh, let's see, nearby me, there's a uh, one place showing it in IMAX. It tells me the show times, and if I want, I can purchase a ticket. Typically, it doesn't have it on this. Uh, I believe this theater probably doesn't use it. it doesn't use our uh, Fandango. It's only going to work in theaters that are Fandango affiliates. You might find some place, some rare occasions where a theater doesn't participate with them. But uh, I can click movie details to find out more about the film. And it's going to give me a, a short synopsis. Once again, you don't get reviews from critics or users. Uh, if I go to, let's say, read it in normal way. Here you can see the show times of all the theaters showing it. It gives me an option to buy from within the app. And then I just pick a show time to buy and I press the button and it's going to uh, ask for my credit card information. Overall, I'm, I'm going to stick with Flickster for now because I appreciate the critic reviews that they have in the app. But Fandango works well enough for me to reevaluate that in the future and I'll probably revisit this to see if it's uh, worth replacing. Uh, it has theaters near you listing to show all the movies playing. It has a coming soon tab, so if, if you're thinking about going to movies next week, you can see what's going to play then. Once again, this is Fandango. It's a beta version. You can find it in the Android market.